Hello everyone. Today we are going to show you how to visualize survey data. As you can see, we have an Excel file here with six columns and 54 rows. So the 54 employees in an organization took a survey which measures which applications do they use on a daily basis, how many hours per day do they work on their PC, and what motivates them in their everyday job. This seems to be an easy, easy, easy thing to do, this nice report in, here in Power BI. But if you look closely in the column D and column F, we see that we have multiple entries, multiple items per entry. So the first entry here has Word and Excel. The second one has Outlook and Excel. Then this one has only Excel. This one has four items and so on. Same for, for the column F. But as you see here in the Power BI report, we were able to create this nice visualization, which shows that Excel is the is the is the uh, most used application in this organization. Same for the motivators here. The salary is the biggest mo mo motivation for the employees in this organization. So if you want to know how to create this, then I'm going to show you step by step what to do both in Power Query and, and uh, after we load data into the Power BI desktop. So we are going to start a new Power BI file. Go get this Excel data, make some transformations in Power Query. And then create visualization vis uh, visualizations here. So first we, we, we get, get this data, transform it. So the first step here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an index column, which we will use to create some relationships after we load data into Power BI. Then we are going to work with these two columns. So we need to split, to split uh, the items in the column into separate columns. But we cannot do that here. We cannot do that here because we will have multiple columns and we would, uh, wouldn't be able to create properly the measures that we need in, in Power BI after we load everything. So what we will do here is I will add this column as a new query. So this creates new query here with only with this column only. Then I will go here and add an index column, same as previously, starting from one. We will move this to the beginning. Then we will split this column by by delimiter. So we go here and choose by delimiter. Okay, and this will create us four new columns. So index and four columns. So now uh, each application is only once in the in the in the entry. So if we see, for example, entry three here, or index number three here, we have. Okay, we can move this to the beginning, so we are able to see it easily. So entry three here, we have three applications, Word, PowerPoint, and Outlook. Same here, entry, entry with index three, we have three applications, but each stored in a separate column. 
if if we load data like this we will create relationship one one to one between these two tables but what we will do here now is we will unpivot other columns remove this column here and rename this value column to application and now as you can see we have two two values here for the entry one so the same thing like here index one word index one excel index one word index one application excel so this will create one to many relationship after we load this later we do exact exactly the same thing with the last column so add as, as a new query convert it to table add an index column starting from one move it to the beginning then uh, go to transform and split column by delimiter and now we have to change from space to comma select ok now again like in the first uh, first uh, case unpivot other columns remove this unnecessary column here and uh, change this to multidata okay to make sure we we have data in the correct correct uh, format here we will use trim and clean functions both here and here okay and now in this main ta main table we don't need these columns anymore so remove and remove this one okay let's close and apply <coughs> now in the model view here we see that we have we we have relationships that were that were detected automatically from the power bi so the index is connected to index in one to many relationship same as with this other table here we will go back to this uh, view a, uh, a bit later but now we will start to create visuals so this was the this was the let's rename it here application table and this was the multivata and this is our main main survey table here now here we will create we will count the number of of uh, employees that that took the survey so a simple count rows measure so let's call it entry or entries like this and let's put it as a card visual here so we have 54 entries let's add a nice shadow here okay now from this table here we can also create other visuals like for example the entries by gender so let's use the dummy chart so we see that 34 respondents were females and 20 were were males I usually remove the legend and put all the details in the labels like this okay 
and maybe we can uh, we can uh, change this color here to be to be red okay now we can also create here entries by department let's make it like this okay and let's show the labels so we have uh, two from management 18 people from finance department and so on okay now we need to create our main visuals here which is the count of applications count of applications how many how many how many uh, times was word selected how many times was excel selected and so on so if we go here and uh, select the application and then select the entry here we will have uh, we will have uh, for every entry 54 fi number 54 which is which is not uh, exact and why is this happening because we are trying to filter we are try trying to filter survey table from application table and if we see here in the model view the application table is filtered by the survey table and and not other way around so what we need to do here is to make this relationship cross filter di direction to both now if we go to the report view we will see we will see that now in our organization uh, 34 persons use excel on a daily basis 26 people use outlook 24 word and all the way down to the crm crm of the company which is used by six people only during the day okay let, let's change the color a bit okay like this entries by application okay maybe we can leave the the title like this so it's not very important okay now the next uh, visual let's see the what we have here okay we have another uh, bar chart like this now we will remove applications and we will put motivators in the axis but the same problem happens again because we do not have uh, cross filtering direction set to both okay so now this is also fixed okay and the last visual in our example is the total respondents by how many hours per day do they work on their PC so we have a column chart we have entries in the values and in the axis we have how many hours per day do they do do they work on their PC okay we can change the color of this to something like this and we created our our report which is completely interactive so if we want to see how many uh, this this kind of analysis b by gender here we just click the 
m here and we have 20 entries of which uh, 14 use excel 8 use outlook 8 use word and so on if we click outlook here then we can see that uh, that outlook is used by four people from finance department two people from management uh, 12 people from HR department and so on also if we click Power BI for example here then the best motivators for people that use Power BI are the teamwork and then the salary and then the company culture and so on okay and if we click uh, for example here people that work six hour hours per day they use excel 10 of them six of them use outlook three of them use word on a daily basis and so on and here three are uh, males and nine are females so people that work six hours per day so you can navigate this and create uh, uh, see see what uh, what uh, what is the what is the what are the insights from from the data that we had in the excel file we can also go and uh, create uh, for example modify this by adding uh, gender into the lesson like this or maybe convert it to this which is better i think and you can do other things other things and uh, you see that the model is now completely fixed and you can use it to create various various visualizations okay this concludes this uh, lesson for today i hope you like it and uh, I, I will see you in the next uh, tutorials like this thank you very much